country? Is it a nice place to live? Uh, 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 you know, some of the places are a bit better of others, but right, I think it, then that is everywhere. Yeah. Just go to go and generally, right, and it's a nice like, a country to live in. Yeah, good, good, good. And how old are you then? I am uh, 27. Wow, good age. Good, yeah. <laughs> good age to get into this. Very good. And what, what do you do for a living, Brett? I am, uh, uh, well, I, I had to know uh, how, how you say it in English, but, but uh, I am a drawer. Um, I draw, um, well, uh, I draw, yeah. Uh, architect? No, uh, more like an uh, industrial, like warehouse or... or um, Pla plans and things like this. And yes, 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 yes. Very good, very good. And uh, how, how much time do you have um, to trade? Uh, I work at uh, my time from seven to four. Yeah. So I am home around uh, from four to thirty. But, but uh, I don't know if I want to to trade within the evening or or in the morning. Yeah. To trade uh, that is a, a little bit. Yeah. What what time is it for you at the moment then? Uh, and at 3 p.m. now. Right, so you're one hour ahead of me. Yes, yes. Right, so when I start at 7 in the morning, it's going to be 8 in the morning for you. Yeah. And if you did trade on a morning, uh, what, what hours would you consider? I would... And consider uh, 4 a.m. to 2, it is a 6 a.m. around that. So that's sort of, um, again, uh, my time, 3 until 5, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would probably suggest that the morning session would be more profitable for you than um, doing it when you come back from work. Hmm, Okay. Um, the only reason that I say that is, is as the day progresses into New York, um, mm -hmm. New York can be quite volatile. Um, but then again, you, what you're saying is when you come back on an evening, it's going to be what, what did you say about seven o'clock? Well, um, no earlier. I, uh, and I could come home around to four to 30. 4.30, so that's 3.30 for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, not much in it, possibly. Possibly. You probably get more action um, in the afternoon, probably. Mm. Um, right, so tell me how you've been trading up until now. What, what have you been using? What what systems? Uh, well, to create a crypto, I had a... To create a RSI, um, the trade and the Bollinger Band, yeah. uh, the, the created the EMAs, and then also, yeah. but at Forex, I just been to do it as a signal groups, you know, uh, whether to try it out, how are uh, they uh, doing, and I've seen created a lot of success with uh, the smart money concept. Yeah. And I did a little bit of research on it. And it looks pretty profitable. Uh, yeah. 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 Right. Well, let, let me get you through this system. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, ask me as many things as you want. Yeah. Okay. Because that, that will make it probably more interesting for me than you. Because I, I've, I've probably done this training. Um, I, don't, I don't know how much history you have about who I am and what I do. But this is my training schedule, Brecht. Oh, okay. And if you see, it goes all the way back 
into last year. Mm -hmm. And um, the reason that I started training this system is because the, the, the system uses um, a, a few things. And one of the things that it uses is it uses a bot. And the bot is called Oracle. I don't know whether you've heard of it. I've heard some things about it, yes. Okay. Have you have you ever used it yet? Uh, I don't think so. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. Well, the the reason why I use it is is because I I, I was asked to um, try it uh, last summer, um, so I paid eight hundred dollars, um, mm -hmm. just just like all of these people that you see on, on that calendar there, because you can see they've all got the name Oracle next to them. Yeah. Oracle. Yeah, yeah. Oracle. And what that means is that they were actually clients of Oracle, two guys that were selling this bot in in the mm -hmm. USA. Um, and when I took a look at it, Brecht, I realised that it was a v not not really a powerful bot. Um, th the way that it did the analysis of the chart um, was very basic, and it really wasn't good enough to um, rely on, mm -hmm. on its own, um, but the, the, the guys that were selling it um, were trying to sell it um, in a way that they wanted people to believe it was a complete system and you didn't need anything else. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm great. I heard that a lot. Yeah. Um, so what I did was I told these two guys um, that I'd been trading for 25 years and I started back in 1997 um, before that the we didn't even have indicators back then um, we literally just had charts uh, and I said what what I would do I said I'll, I'll build a system and I'll, I'll keep using the Oracle because what it does is uh, when you're when you're in a trade it actually manages the trades very well um, but the way that it gets you into a trade is not very good um, mm. so I built this system and I started to trade it and because I was one of their clients I started to post my results daily in their discord group and everybody that you see here on, on the um, calendar, the, these people were also in, in the Discord group and they be became very curious um, as to how I was getting 1% a day um, when they were struggling, constantly struggling. So naturally they asked me if, if I would show them the system. Um, just give me one sec while I close Telegram and stop all of these noises. <laughs> Sorry about this. There, they're gone. Um, so all of these people came across and since last October, I've been training probably about two, roughly two, two people a day, every day for now 10 months. And um, nice. so the system that we've got is is very, 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 very well established now. And um, what happened was, I would say just over two weeks ago, after 10 months, I finally found a way to improve the system. And what I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be showing you and teaching you the version two of the system, um, which is based on the original system. It's just more profitable and it yes. gets it gets you in and out of trades a lot quicker. Now, can I ask you, how long have you been following the Telegram channel where I've put all of my results? Oh, I think, um, I think I had a month or so, two, three, what, maybe four? Uh, uh, four weeks or months? Uh, I don't know, months, months. 
Right. Okay. So, so you, you've had a long time to watch all of the trades, then. Yeah. Yeah. Have yeah. you have you tried to work out what the system is? Have you managed to work anything out, or or not? Oh. I am not. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I the great. I'm just amazed. Uh, the, okay. The, 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 the profits and all that. The, the, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, 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 right. I, well, let's let's just jump in. Let's get let's get this system started for you. Uh, yeah. Now, the the first thing, if you're going to be a trader, um, that you you've got to appreciate is. Um, high impact news, red 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 folder news. Now yeah. um, I don't want to be a, I, I, I don't want to be a preacher, and I don't want to lay the law down, um, because when it comes to news, then it's a very personal thing um, as to what your opinion is as to whether you should be trading news. Um, but if I just bring across just for a second, if I bring across. Just bring something up, just one sec. Yep. Now, I want you to be really, really brutally honest with me, yeah? Mm -hmm. This is one of many economic calendars. Uh, it's from forexfactory.com. Now, yep. do, you, do you reference an economic calendar do you look at a, an economic calendar on a daily basis or is it not something that you you're used to doing uh on the daily basis i don't think so but but, but uh, i am aware that that uh you know, the high impact news is a uh, i can it there's a lot of profit or a lot of loss that, that i am that i am aware of yeah you're a hundred percent correct now, the first thing that I want to ask you to do, um, because at, n at least 98% of people who try to make trading work, they fail Brecht and they mm -hmm. fail miserably. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and show you how to put the odds in your favor so that you, you're going to win more times than you're going to lose. And the, the first thing that I've got to teach you is this high impact news, the red fold, folder news. Uh, we, yep. Now we can see here that we had some very early this morning, so that's not relevant to us. Um, but you can see this afternoon, uh, I think this is UK time. Um, yes, it is because the time is 2.20, matches my clock on the bottom right of that corner. And about an hour ago, we had the uh, US dollar Empire State Manufacturing Index news. Now, what I want you to do, please, and I don't care whether you're trading my system. Um, I, I think you will be for a long time mm -hmm. um, or you, whatever you're trading. But what I want you to do is, first of all, let me show you that this system trades every single um, currency pair. Okay, okay. Yeah. And it trades them all at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it trades them all on a one minute time frame. And the way that I've got, um, when I say every currency pair, what, what you've actually got is you've got the six, what we call major currencies. And then you've got the, uh, I think there's 22 minor currencies um, and cross pairs. And the other, only things that we don't trade are the exotic currencies. And the only reason that is, is because the spreads are just too high. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. the point I want to make is you can see all of the currencies here. You can see that they're all, if you look at uh, the bottom of the screen, they're all alphabetical, which is how I'll, I'll set your system up. So you've got yep. the Australian dollar going through to the Canadian, the Euro, the pound, New Zealand, and then the US. So the point I want to make is at least one hour before and one hour after high impact news. 
what I want you to do is I want you to go to the relevant currency um, and today this afternoon it's the US dollar and mm -hmm. I want you to put this template on okay because the system runs via a number of templates which manage the system yeah so what I want you to do is I want you to put the naked chart on now when you put the naked chart on um, it takes all the indicators off and when you've got all the indicators off you cannot get any of the system alerts and there are the alerts okay okay now if you can't get the system alerts then there's no way that you're going to accidentally find yourself in a US dollar trade in the middle of high impact news okay that that makes simple sense yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And and what you're going to do is you're going to turn off all of the currency pairs connected to the dollar. So there's another one, US dollar against the Swiss. So that one would come off as well. Now, you have a choice because we're all individuals. Uh, my personal choice is that I don't trade news two hours before or two hours after. Uh, I really let the the market settle down again okay but there's a lot yeah. of my clients are happy with 60 minutes so it's it's entirely up to you really but as long as you leave at least 60 minutes before the news comes out and 60 minutes after the news has come out and then once that time period's um, gone you can just come back in here and then you can reactivate the system and then the system will start again for these pairs activate system okay simple enough yeah. Yes. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you, first of all, uh, a run through the, the old system. Um, and I'm just going to turn the alerts. Uh, maybe that's off a different system. I've, I've got two systems running. I'll just see if I can turn the alerts off. One sec. Uh, no, it's not that. I think what it is, one of these indicators that I'm going to show you um, has, has got a, a, an alert that unfortunately you can't turn it off. So, so the only way you can get rid of it is literally um, by turning your sound down. You know, so that you, you just have to do that yourself. So occasionally we're, we're, we're going to get some, some alerts, but we, sh we shouldn't hear too many of them. Right, okay, are you ready? Yes, yes, I am right. very excited. Right, brilliant. Let's go. Um, this is where we start from. We start from um, a position of... That's, that's the um, indicator that's giving the sound. Um, yep. And I don't, yep. I don't really want to turn it off. Um, because if I turn it off, I'm then going to have to go through every single chart and then refresh every single template. Um, and you, you, we're not really going to get many of them. Um, so I, th I think what I'll maybe do, I'll tell you what I'll do, because it'll, it'll only take me a second or two. Let me just quickly turn these charts into hourly charts, because that will stop the, stop the sounds. Yep. Because we're obviously not going to be getting alerts for another hour, and by which time I'll put them all back onto the one minute, which is where they should be. Would you consider yourself disciplined? I'd like to be. Good. Uh, yeah. Because all you need to be with this system is disciplined. And you've got to understand that it's a very powerful system. Um, and if you can, you've got to consider ending the period in your life where you're constantly going to YouTube to f try and find a new trading system. Yeah, no. Because we all do it. And at some point you've got to stop and you've got to say, right, I've got a, I've got a good system here and I'm never going to have a perfect system. So if I've got a good system, just learn it as best as you can and then you won't need anything else. Right, so here we go. So, naked chart. 
Now, this is what we used to look at many, many years ago. And um, the basic premise where we start with the system, if I can just get my mouse back on this screen, here we go, is we accept the fact that we're sat here on the US dollar Japanese yen currency on a one minute chart and we're trying to guess whether this market's going to go up sideways or down would you agree yeah because if we get it wrong we lose money but if we get it right we make money now you've got to accept in your head um, and some people don't like this but this business is gambling you are attempting to be a professional gambler did you know that uh no well it it, it, it is true because you, you you know all that we can do in forex is we can buy and we can sell and we're trying to make a judgment call as to you know which way that market's going to go and that's really just the same as somebody in a casino um you, you know um playing blackjack or something but let me tell you something that might um give you a bit of confidence when i talk about gambling you might have heard of um people like poker players who play poker professionally um and, yeah. and they learn a, a, an art which is uh, counting cards have you heard that saying before yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, to put it, I know somebody who is uh, a card taker counter. Very good. Well, being able to do that, if, if, if you can do it well, then that gives these people an edge over the casino. And, and that's where, where they've got a good chance of winning. Now, to be a successful trader, what you've got to do is you've got to find an edge of your own. Okay? And I'm going to give you the edge. And the edge starts with this reality. First of all, you and I accept that, that we cannot predict the future over the next few hours. Agreed? Yeah. This market just could con continue up and up and up. Or it could just fade away and just go into a range. Or it could reverse back down as quickly as it's come up because a lot of this is news driven yeah and we just don't know but what the charts do give us is they give us a bit like um, similar to human life really because they leave their past behind them can you see and, and we can see yeah. where all the highs and lows have been yeah and if you think about it in your life you can actually sit and, and think about this last uh, this morning this weekend just gone last week and you can think about the highs and lows of your life as well can't you but there's yeah. nothing you can do about them you can, you can just reflect on them yeah now the reason why these areas are important to us is because once the markets make a, a high of the day and a low of the day then and, and that could actually be as early as the Asian session. And once that's done, all that's going to happen for the rest of the 14, 15 hours that's left in the, in the trading day is that the market is just going to bounce up and down and it's going to stop at certain areas of, of support and resistance. Um, and I think you said that you've learned a little bit about smart money concepts, yeah? Mm-hmm. Now, can you see this market pushing up here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is the very reason. That's 130 pips. Yeah. And it's the very reason why I personally leave two hours with high impact news. Because we're already a, 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 um, an hour past the news. And the volatility is just continuing. It's not slowing down. And all of this is news. So I would not want to be trading this until all of this calms down. Now, so the first thing that we do is we use an indicator that shows us, without having to draw them, the areas of support and resistance. 
Now, now what you've got here is you've actually got no areas of support and resistance. And the reason you've got no areas is because this market has just shot up really fast, right? And when a market shoots up really fast, areas of support and resistance, such as that, that one there, where there would have been a, a block, there would have been a block as the market came up. And the market's gone up so fast that it, it's, it's demolished the block, yeah? And then you get another block, there would have been a block there, and that market's pushed higher again. So that block that would have been there, brecked, that's been demolished, yeah? Mm -hmm. And the only way that you're going to see any blocks now is if we sort of stand back off the market and move to a higher time frame. And even on a five minute, you've still got no blocks. And you can only see the first block when you push all the way out to a 15 minute chart. Yeah. Yeah. Now on this 15 minute chart, um, before we finished, I'm going to just um, change this watermark because it's not matching the uh, currency. So I'll sort that out just now, don't worry. Mm -hmm. So we've got there, we've got a support block uh, below the market. If we go to a 30 minute, you can now see that we've got a couple of resistance blocks above the market. If we go to a one hour, we've got resistance. Four hour, we've got support and resistance. On a daily, I don't have enough data in this uh, MT4 to go much further than that on, on here. Um, well, that's strange. Maybe that's a quirk of that time uh, on that particular chart. On a weekly, you've got support. On a monthly, you've got support. But I think the best example that we can, we can look at on this currency is this chart here, the four hour. Now, do you remember five minutes ago, I said I was gonna give you an edge over um, mm -hmm. most traders? Well, this is the edge. The edge is knowing where to expect that the markets to bounce throughout the day, okay? And um, where they bounce is they bounce off established uh, support and resistance. Now, if you've um, looked at a bit of smart money concepts, you'd probably be aware of um, terms such as order blocks. Yeah, yeah. Um, you'd probably be aware of other things such as fair value gaps, you might have heard of them. Yeah. And yeah. you may have heard of liquidity grabs. Have you heard of that? Yeah. yeah. Good. Brilliant. Now, let me show you what your edge, like the poker player, has got. Let me show you what, what your edge is. Every time the indicator, and we don't have to go too technical on all this stuff, so don't, don't worry about it. Basically, this is just an indicator that is giving me support and resistance blocks. So, so what it's doing is it's, as the market is moving up and down, this indicator is analyzing price action and it's drawing support and resistance where it thinks um, the market will bounce, basically. And what I'm giving you here is, is a 90% probability. Now, if you start in trading with a 90% edge, then you're in a good position. You know, you're not starting um, with your eyes closed. So every time I come to a chart, it doesn't matter what the time frame is, one of the first things I'm looking for are where are my points of interest? And the points of interest are these blocks. So on this particular time frame, Brecht, at the moment, I've got three points of interest. Let me tell you why mm -hmm. they're important. Because I want you to watch what happens every time price comes into a block. Bounce, bounce, in, bounce, in, bounce, down, touch, bounce. Now, your 90% rule is very simple. Once this market came and touched this block here, if you were a manual trader and you weren't using clever in, in indicators and bots and things, then what you could do, Brecht, is you could put your stop loss just under that block, okay? Mm -hmm. you, could, 
you could buy the market because 90% of the time this blocks uh, base will not be broken and it will serve as a very reliable stop loss so what what you'd have been able to do there is quite easily you could have bought there and gone up you could have bought again this block appeared after about three bars uh, from that uh, bearish bar there you could have bought off that block then you could have sold off this block two or three or four or five times and then you could have uh, sold off that block sorry and you could have bought off of this block here when the market bounced back up because that market bounced off that block 160 pips on a four hour now if I was to take you let's go back to a one minute time frame just for a second let's sort this out because that's really gone very There we go that's the volatility that's really stretched that chart um, I'm gonna just pull away for a minute from the US because the volatility is going to be on anything to do with the US let's go and have, have a look at something like the pound against the yen and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to naked chart and I'm just going to show you where the support and resistance is by putting the blocks on now every chart that you're going to look at from now on you're going to see these blocks and you're going to know that nine times out of ten you could buy there place your stop there and go up you could buy there place your stop and go up you could sell there place your stop and go down sell there place your stop and go down buy there place your stop and go up buy here place your stop and go up sell here place your stop and come down and you can see every single time you'd have had winning trades now occasionally because price moves in um, curious ways and random ways occasionally and by occasionally I mean 10% of the time these the, the market will move so fast that these blocks will not be strong enough to hold the market so as you can see here at that point there that market would have uh, sorry that block Brecht would have actually disappeared as soon as the price cut through that block okay mm -hmm. it would have gone and if you'd have looked at this chart about here you wouldn't have even seen this block so you wouldn't have even known and uh, been aware that it'd been there but as soon as price then comes back and touches this price action area again then the indicator brings the block back now as it was coming down it was a yellow block because it was supporting the market and then it disappeared and when it came back it became this I think it's a bluey color I think I'm colorblind by the way <laughs> and once it becomes a resistance block we then expect to, to put our stop above the block and sell down and then we get a support block and then we expect put our stop underneath the block and we go up into resistance stop above the block we come down it's as simple as that now if I um, I do one of two things um, you know we can go to 28 different charts um, or you know we can just stay with a couple of charts and just work through the different time frames because everything whether this is uh, Bitcoin or crude oil or the Nasdaq they all act exactly the same way this indicator will find your areas of support and resistance so here we expected it to bounce and it failed so it cut through and disappeared and when it came back here it colored up as yellow and it was support so you place your stop there and you buy you place your stop there and you buy you place your stop there and you sell and then again that block would have disappeared so that would have been a losing trade and then you come back in and then you buy off support and you go back up and I'll just show you one more and then I'll take you into the second part of the system 
So here we've got support and resistance. And I don't even have to use my cursor. Can you see how it's bounced off support and resistance easily? Yeah. 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 Now, you, you now know that when you see these blocks, when price comes and touches them, you've got a 90% chance of getting a bounce in the other direction. It might not be a huge mm -hmm. bounce. It might only be five or six pips. Or sometimes it could be 60, 70, 100 pips. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is that was the fundamental um, building block of the original system, Get Funded version one. Because what we did was we were we were looking for bounces off blocks. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to a naked chart. I'm going to go back to the one minute and I'm going to give you the second way that the system technically analyzes the chart. And what it is, I'm going to bring you in a different indicator. So it's the same chart and support and resistance has gone, as you can see. And now I've got this funny looking oscillator, which looks a little bit like the RSI, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but what it is, it's a stochastic oscillator. And it generates signals. So it isn't just an indicator. It's, it's a trading system. So if you wanted to use this to trade, I'll show you what you would do. It uses, just like the RSI uses uh, numbers like 70, 30 or 80, 20 for overbought and oversold. Um, I've got this oscillator set very strictly with high tolerances. So in order for the indicator to give me a buy or a sell you can see if we look at this area here you've got it's it goes from 0 to 100 and there's a 50 line and in order to get a buy then this oscillator has got to cross this line at 5 and to get a sell we need to cross this line at the top there at 95 that's where it's overbought now, let me just explain what this oscillator does. Generally speaking, it just follows price action. So as, as price action's coming down, the oscillator will come down just like the RSI. But the difference between this and the RSI is this oscillator also looks at the amount of buying um, positions and the amount of selling uh, orders coming into the market. And quite simply, if this market is still coming down, you would expect the amount of sellers to be, be greater than the amount of buyers, because that's why this market's pushing down. But if that balance starts to change and more buyers start to come in, then this oscillator will cross down at 95 and say that in, in its opinion, shortly this market is going to make a reverse. Okay. Now, if you could, have, if you would have taken that buy off of that um, um, entry arrow there, then you would have picked up eleven pips, but you'd have also gone in drawdown twelve or thirteen that you can see. But then look what happened if you held on to it; you'd have made one hundred and thirty-five pips. Now, if I take it to a higher time frame. Uh, it's, again, this is a powerful oscillator that needs a, a lot of data. So the best way for me to do it is I'll show you, show you it on other one minute charts. Let's go to this one and put on the overbought oversold and put it back to a one minute. And here you can see that you would have had a sell signal right over here on the left. So it would have been all the way up there and it would have come all the way down 57 pips before the overbought, oversold stochastic told you to buy the market. And that move up would have given you 40 pips. Now I'll just show you it on two more charts. So let's put it on the one minute and you can see here that we would have had, the sell would have been across here probably early in Asia 
so you'd have had it around here you'd have actually gone into sorry I didn't pick that up pretty well you'd have gone into possibly 15 16 pips drawdown uh, you'd, you'd have had 35 pips before that however um, but if you'd held on to it uh, you'd have actually had 75 pips and now it's just telling you to uh, potentially uh, think about buying this market now can you see how that oscillator is pretty accurate at telling you when the market yeah. is about to make it make a turn yeah yeah now what the system does the system is um, it, it's not magical it, it, it's just logical that if you've got two quite accurate indicators that are analyzing the, the charts differently but they're both quite accurate at what they do then what we do is we actually just join them together and the first um, version of the system basically looked like this and you can see that what we've got is we've got our support and resistance blocks yeah and we've also got the overbought oversold stochastic easy mm -hmm. now you can also see we've got blue buy and sell signals that were being generated by the supply and demand or the block indicator and we've also got red and green signals that are getting generated by the overbought oversold stochastic and you would be getting these alerts every time one of these arrows appeared on your chart and what we would do I'll show you how we made money out of them quite simply when an alert came in we would be looking to see exactly where the arrow appears on the chart and in order to contemplate placing a trade the arrow it doesn't matter what color it was had to appear literally attached to a block like that can you see mm -hmm. so you can see that blue arrow there is actually touching this support block now you can see that blue arrow it wasn't touching the block it was above the block can you see yeah. so that 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 signal there would have been ignored and that signal there would have been ignored as well Brecht because there was no block yeah mm -hmm. that signal to sell would have been ignored as well because it's not touching the block and you might just see it's just about to, to fade it away bring it in you just see there a blue entry right on the block can you see Yep. 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 That would have been a perfect sell. Okay. Now, what we do, I'll show you now how we uh, turned it into money, is let's go back in time about probably an hour ish. Yeah, 50 minutes. 50 minutes ago, we would have had that perfect entry signal. We would have had an alert and we would have had the audible alert and we would have had the visual screen pop up so so what we do when we trade this system is we just pop to the chart we check that we've got a perfect signal and then as, as soon as we're happy with it we turn the system into fully automatic mode are you ready <coughs> what we do is would you agree in this particular instance we're looking for a, for a, for a long trade not a short trade we're looking to buy yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's, it's uh, pretty, pretty obvious. obvious yeah so what we do is we just change the template and as soon as I change the template what I do is I go to trigger buy because that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to place a buy trade and as soon as I do that I am completely no longer in any control of this chart because when you have a bot on your chart and you, you'll have seen them on your charts before have you mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. you know as well as me that when a bot is active and you've got your smiley face I'm not going to turn it on yet I will but the, re the reason I don't want to turn it on for a buy at the moment Brecht is obvious 
because the market's up there and I don't want to buy it there. Yeah. 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 I wanted to buy it back down there. Now, as mm -hmm. soon as the, the bot becomes active, then, as I've said, there's nothing that we can now do because if the conditions are right for the bot, then the bot is going to place a trade now automatically. Now, one thing that I need you to understand is that loaded on our charts here are support and resistance blocks, which are very reliable. Look what's just happened as it hit that resistance block there. Can you see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It hit, and just as I said, you could have put your stop there and it bounced away. Yeah. Now, it's also got, um, this is the RSI here in white. It's also mm -hmm. got some divergence lines, which I'm going to come to in the second version. And it's got the overboard over sold stochastic. So it's got all sorts going on. But this in the expert advisor that places the trades is not aware that there's any indicators on this chart at all. All right. It doesn't have a mm -hmm. clue. The only thing that it sees is price action. Nothing else. So if it's going to place a trade, we need to know how the bot works. Now, if you remember uh, what I said to you, that um, all of the, the reason that all of these people came across is because this bot was not very good at analyzing um, the charts to determine whether it should be buying or selling. Do you remember me saying that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'll show you why it's not very good. It's not very good because I've just come into the settings here. And you can see that in s despite the fact that we've got loads of lines of um, you know, uh, technical things going on, the only thing that the Oracle bot uses to determine whether to place a buy order or a sell order is the 34 period exponential moving average and the three period exponential moving average. It uses nothing else. Now, that should surprise you because you would probably have expected that uh, an expensive bot at $800 would be doing more than just looking at what the moving average is, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, but as I've just shown you, it. it it doesn't do anything it just looks at the moving average now let me ask you when i asked for the bot to place a buy order there yeah mm -hmm. the bot doesn't see this block doesn't see that block doesn't see anything all it sees is price and it sees the moving average because it, it gets the moving average based on whether prices are moving up or down obviously now, if the moving average, when we wanted to place a buy order, if the moving averages were coming down that way, would the bot be trying to place a short trade or a long trade if the moving averages were coming down? Are coming down, I think, uh, is a short? Yeah, yeah, it's not a trick question. Um, obviously, if the moving averages are coming down, and the moving average is uh, 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 what the, the bot uses to enter, then the bot would be looking to place a short trade. But bearing in mind, we've got a trigger buy template on. Then if we go back into the settings of the bot, you'll see that I do not allow this template to place any short trades. I only allow this template to place buys, long trades, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, what that means is if the bot is looking to place a short trade because the averages are coming down, then all that's going to happen if we had auto trading on, we'd have a smiley face on the bot, but the bot wouldn't be able to open a trade. So logic then tells us that the only way that that trade will get placed by the bot 
is if the moving averages are going up. Agreed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so we're in total agreement that the only way we're going to get a, a buy off that trade is if the three period moving average has just crossed the 34 and we've just had a quick trend change which I think if you move you probably see that you would have had that trade because two out of the last three bars had gone bullish can you see yeah, yeah. so that the trade would have probably gone instantly live for you so what happens is it goes live um, sorry I've just taken it off let me put the trigger buy back on it goes live and what we do is we go for a small profit now you can see the profit target there is just four pips very small amount yeah um, yeah. because I don't want to be in a long fight I just want a quick punch uh, I want a, a, a quick result uh, and I want to walk away with my money um, and, and that's what this system does as you can see it takes a, a lot of lot of trades and if it doesn't get it right first time round it'll use a recovery method to get it right the second time now so if this bot moves up for four pips and gets you four pips, what's going to happen is the um, trade will close and your trade will move away from your trade panel into your account history, as you, as you know. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, we've got a bot running, Brecht, and the, the bot... Um, will not turn itself off you've got to turn it off haven't you yeah, yeah yeah and if you don't turn it off and the moving average continues to go up would you agree that the bot is probably going to place another buy trade and it'll keep buying if the moving averages are going up I don't know I agree yeah so what we do is we manage you know this this isn't isn't a game that we're playing you know it's not a game of roulette although it is gambling we are professional gamblers and we, we know when to walk away and the, the, the time to walk away is when you've got your profit and that's when you walk away and you you wait for the next perfect trade before you um, pull the trigger again so the way that we let me just show you one last setting here on the trigger templates you can see that open new orders is set to true now as soon as that trade goes live what I want you to do is one last thing and change it from a trigger buy to a managed buy and there's only two things happen now obviously the background color has changed and that's purely to give you a visual confirmation that you're finished now and you can go and watch TV or make a phone call yeah yeah because the bot now is completely in control um, but technically what have I actually done to the bot now what I've done to it I'll show you is I've changed that field I've changed the template and now the bot has been told that it cannot open any new orders once this order has been closed does that make sense yep, yep. so it's very very simple what we have to get in a trade is we have price action touches a, 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 an all important block that's the first thing we needed the second thing we needed one of our trust, trusted um, indicators either the, the block indicator or the overbought oversold stochastic to give us a perfect entry with an arrow sat on a block and then the final thing is we needed another confluence we needed the moving average from the bot to confirm that it was also in agreement that that market was moving up okay mm -hmm. and that's why the system was so accurate because
if the oracle was just running on its own can you see this run up as it, as it moves up here yeah yeah that the oracle is not aware that we've got a resistance block there so the oracle would probably have just wanted to keep going up and up and up and up and up yeah mm -hmm. but we know that smart money concepts we've got a resistance block so where the oracle would have been looking to continue up we were aware that this price was very very likely to bounce straight back down yeah mm -hmm. now in essence that is system number one and um, that's the system that's been making one percent a day for 10 months and it's only hit a three percent stop two times in 10 months now any questions on that uh, no, no, not really. No. Are you ready for the new version? I am made extremely uh, ready. Right, okay, new version is this is the template that we're going to be working with. It's called Activate System, okay? Mm -hmm. Now let me just pull this down a little bit and let me walk you through a few things. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to dismantle it a little bit. So just bear with me. I'm going to take off this. And I'm going to bring in for you something else. This. Bring that down a little bit. And bring that up just a little bit. Bring if we can slide that down a bit right okay so now what we've got on the chart is we've got the oscillator still there I've, I've narrowed it down a bit but you can mm -hmm. still see that it's giving you the the red and green buy and sells can you see yeah yeah the blocks are still there but I've taken away the blue buy and sells because we, we've now got something which is much, much, much more powerful. Now, can you explain to me um, your understanding, um, if at all, of the term divergence in trading? Uh, so, so, so uh, the, the divergence in uh, the traded RSI is. Um, wait, so. Uh, I'm prepared that RSI as indicating it's an overbought or an oversell. There's a sold as a situation, uh, but but uh, the 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 chart itself is um, I it keeps you going down or it keeps you going up. Yeah, that's more or less correct. Just let me save this as, uh, just save it as X for a sec. Um, yeah, now this part of the training, this next 30 minutes is, is, is gonna put you, if you can get your head around this, is, mm -hmm. is gonna put you into a position of edging on being an expert trader, more or less, today right now okay. let me tell you the significance of, of divergence um, all of the markets are in balance and in harmony most of the time because what will happen with all of the indicators excuse me even if they're lagging indicators is that all of the indicators will more or less follow price action if price is making a higher high, then the indicator will make a higher high. Uh, if the price makes a higher low, then if there's no um, discord with the asset, then the indicator will replicate what the price action's just done, quite simply. And 
what happens is you get periods of the market where you get an imbalance which is basically like driving down the autobahn or the motorway or the freeway and you're driving at a certain speed 80 90 whatever 100 and you come across a sign on the road and the sign says sharp bend ahead yeah now you might not be able to see that sharp bend ahead because it might be half a mile away but you would certainly take notice of that sign wouldn't you mm -hmm. you would certainly get ready for a change in direction yeah and you would not doubt that sign would you mm -hmm. now what we have with divergence is you, you explained it quite well because when the market is moving normally then what you'll see is as if we look at this area here as price is moving up a higher low a higher high a higher low you can actually go down to that oscillator and see whether it's actually in harmony up it makes a high it comes down it makes a higher low it goes up it makes a higher high it comes down it makes a higher low can you see yeah yeah, yeah. very 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 easy to see now the the best traders are traders who've got not just good eyesight but have got good vision because eyesight and vision are completely different because I'm going to give you an indicator that's going to highlight where these areas of divergence, where these warning signs in the road are. Yeah. So you, you don't have to have perfect vision from day one. But I'm also going to show you how to actually use your own eyesight and develop it very fast into expert vision on these charts now what I want to bring you to here is I'm just going to give you an example can you see here that price made a high high and it touched the block yep, yep. and then about 10 minutes later price made another high mm -hmm. where we got an overbought oversold sell signal appeared yeah mm -hmm. now when we go down and look at the rsi then if the market is in harmony then what we're going to expect is we're going to expect a high just as we got up here and we we're, we're now looking for a higher high in the rsi to match the price action movement now Although price was moving up, very bullish, you can see that the RSI had already issued a warning sign. There's your warning sign on the freeway, that there. Mm -hmm. The price was going up, but the RSI was saying there's a bend in the road ahead. There's going to be a different direction very, very, very soon. Okay? Now, what the system is now doing, the uh, new version 2 system, is it's looking to take advantage of the early warning sign that the market is going to turn before it even does that turn. Okay? And what we're doing is we are trading divergence. As simple as that. Now, that's the pound Swiss. Let's go on to the Euro Yen, just as an example. And I'm going to put this on. That's the same template that we've just been looking at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this. I'm making it really tough for you at the moment, right? 
I'm not making it easy for you yet. Now, what we've actually got here is, let me give you an example of something. I want to bring this to your attention, that there, mm -hmm. where you can see that price action made a lower high, agreed? Yes. Yes. So, in fact, we'll take it from we we'll take it from the high, which is there, and we'll go to the lower high. So, what we're expecting, if we come down to the RSI, if the market is in balance, then we are expecting the same thing. We're expecting a lower high to match the lower high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, what we actually got is we got completely the opposite. We actually got a higher high. Now, when you get a higher, a lower high in price and a higher high in the RSI, that divergence, and I'm sorry if this is sounding complicated for you, is, mm -hmm. is known as a hidden divergence and it actually signifies that this downward move is just about to continue again. Okay, so you have two types of divergence. You've got regular divergence, which is basically telling you that the market is going to reverse and um, go against the trend. And you've got hidden divergence which is telling you that the existing trend which on this chart is a downward trend agreed mm -hmm. yes. yes that this existing trend is just about to crash again and you actually get the warning sign and all you've got to do is develop the ability to read the signs and if you can read the signs you're going to make an absolute complete success of your trading now you're not going to do this in an hour or two it might take you a day but it shouldn't take you much longer than a day right because I'm going to give you um, an indicator that's going to literally throw them right at you but before I do let's just go to one more let's put it on the one minute time frame and let's put it on the X which is where we were here right now so last example I'm going to show you. You see that run up there? Yeah. yeah. What do you see in the RSI? Is the RSI going the same way or is it going a different way? No, it gives a low, either a lower high. It's coming down. Yeah. 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 So as soon as you've got that signal there, and these overbought, oversold signals are, are very powerful. Th these in themselves are telling you that this market's going to turn. Um, but you also had, backing you up, you had a very bearish RSI, which had already told you what was about to happen. So you would have sold there mm. straight away. As soon as you saw that divergence, and you'd have come down for 13 or 14 pips. Okay. Now, let me show you this. Let me show you bullish divergence. Let me bring you across to here. Now, you know what that is. That's a marker telling you yep. that soon this market's going to go up. Agreed? Yep. Yep. Now, what happens? It doesn't go up. The market comes down. The market comes down to there. But what happens with the RSI brecht? I is higher than, than the previous point. The RSI, right at that point there, you've got nothing to think about. All you do is you buy. And when I say buy, you simply do what we did before. Tr trigger a buy. Mm. As simple as that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, 
bring in the full system now and I'm going to show you how you're going to trade it right so now this is the full system you've got the o OBOS at the bottom you've got mm -hmm. the um, divergence just one sec one sec yeah that's fine okay you've got the divergence here you can see it says PZ, P, PZ divergence mm -hmm. and we've also got what's called the strong trend now the strong trend or lower on a one minute time frame here we are now the strong trend is also telling you that the trend of, of the five minute the 15 minute and all of the other time frames okay mm -hmm. so <clears throat> what are we doing with this what we are doing first and foremost is that we are waiting for periods of time where we receive from the indicator we receive divergent signals. There's your higher high, mm -hmm. there's your lower low. And here, ironically again, can you see that we're getting this divergence at the same time that the market is telling us that we are in an overbought scenario? Yeah. Yeah. So although this market is at its peak of the day, there is your road sign right underneath you there. You don't even have to go and look at it with good vision or good eyesight because you've got two red lines telling you, there's your sell. Just sell that market straight away. Okay? <laughs> now, let me, I'll just show you a few more before I go, I go into more detail. Let's put that on, on the one minute. Activate system. And, and that's where we are. Now, some of these charts can look quite daunting with all of these lines. And I do understand that. And it's going to take you not long at all to master it now here can you see that you've got a white line off the divergence indicator yeah yeah but you don't have a, 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 any divergence being marked up on the rsi so unless you've got a pair like the two red ones you completely ignore the isolated uh, instances so you're only mm -hmm. looking for the pairs here so what you've got there is bullish but you've got bearish that's telling you that this market's coming down into support okay so that there would be your instant sell and this here is hidden divergence and let me show you something if we go into the divergence settings you can see that what we've got is we've got regular and hidden divergence. Now, if you remember what I said, regular divergence is showing you a reverse in the trend because that's moving up and now it's going to come down. And the hidden divergence is telling you that the trend, the existing trend is likely now to continue in the same direction. And can you see that it is? Yep. Yeah. Now, trading doesn't really get much easier than this. Let's activate the system, put it on a one minute, and let's see what we've got here. What you've got here is you've got a bullish divergence. Blue is for bullish, because if the RSI is moving up, then the RSI is telling you that this market's going to start and move up. And surprise, surprise, again, Brecht, look what we've got just as it's happening. 
another confluence to tell you that this market is tired of where it's going and this market is ready to move up so at that point literally all we do is we trigger a buy now what you can see here we've also got hidden divergence can you see yeah yeah yep yeah. and we've got regular divergence here and we've got hit hidden divergence there as well now what do we do in situations like this and, and and which of these signals do we take well the ones that we take is based on what the higher time frames are doing okay because i don't want you to be taking a buy entry if the higher time frames uh, near you are telling you to sell because what you're doing then is you, you just sort of you're, you're running into the into a headwind okay what you want is you yeah. want to be running with a tailwind so you want to be running in the same in the right direction okay mm -hmm. now every time you come to one of these um, charts say that one as an example can you see this strong trend indicator yeah. 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 it's telling me to do nothing but buy but I haven't been on this chart for maybe about an hour and this indicator needs refreshing so what you do is you just go activate system again now nothing's changed but sometimes some of these different time frames have changed from buy to neutral or from neutral to sell yeah, yeah. so what we're saying now is the only thing that we will take by way of an entry now is a buy so if we were to get a red divergent sell here we would just literally completely ignore it because everything is telling us that this market is moving up and if we move that's the one hour time frame by the way but we're trading the one minute so there's the one minute so you can see it's refreshed itself again and what you see about an hour ago probably we had this we had this cell here yes now it's pretty certain that at that point in time all of these would have still been saying buy because the market's been going up can you see yeah yeah now if you get a sell but everything's telling you to buy then you don't take that sell because you you're also selling into a support block and you don't want to do that mm -hmm. okay so let's just move through a few of these charts one by one and let's let's start from this one let's put it on the one minute and start and jump in and ask any questions that you, you might have yeah. Yeah. now what we've got here is we've got a, a neutral situation so I wouldn't really be looking at doing anything on this chart at the moment so we come to the next one put it on a one minute put the system on the only thing I'd be looking to do here would be buying buy 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 and there you can see about 25 minutes ago 28 minutes ago you had hidden divergence which was telling you that that upward move is probably about to move back up again can you see yeah yeah so all you would have done at that stage is you would have gone trigger buy move it into a managed buy and then walk away and go and watch tv and let the bot go and get you the four pips okay mm -hmm. very simple now what we're going to do now is let's look at some of the live signals coming in okay and the signals that we're really interested in is we're really just looking at these signals and you you, you can't see that many of them because if you remember i turned all of the charts onto a one hour chart do you remember yeah yeah 
So now I'm turning them all back onto a one minute chart. And you'll see that the amount of signals that come in Brecht, you're going to get signals at the rate of between 50 and 100 an hour. Okay. Which means you can trade this system any time, day or night. Because as long as the markets are open, these signals are going to be relentlessly coming in. And you're going to start and hear the sound soon, probably within a minute. So, what I'm going to do now is let's put auto trading on. I'm going to explain a couple of things to you. Let's say we had a, we were in a buy here, just as, as an example, just an example, because I just want to show you some settings. If we were in a buy, you know that you would have a manage buy template on. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, if you've got a manage buy template on, let me show you what happens. First of all, the system is going to try and get you four pips. Now, occasionally, even though you're going with the trend, the, uh, the trade is going to go against you short term. Now, let's look at what happens if, if the trade goes against you. If it goes against you 25 pips, what will happen is it will take your original lot size, and for me it's two, and it will multiply that by 1.457. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's 1.46. And what it will do is it will con continue to place further trades, and they're called Martingale recovery trades until it reaches my maximum lot size which is four times the original lot size which we'll set correctly for your account so i'll just walk you through so let's say that we placed a trade here the ideal scenario is that the trade's going to go to four pips and you're gone there and because you've got the manage template on It'll just bank your money down in here and it'll stop trading. But if the trade goes against your 25 pips, which is all the way down there, then automatically um, the Oracle bot will place you another buy trade. But it'll place it at 2.92 lot size. And because it's a much bigger lot size than that one, then the bot only has to come up halfway to get you out in profit. It doesn't have to come all the way back up again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, because you've got um, more than one open trade running at, at the same time, which you will have, we run an equity stop here where we put a maximum floating drawdown in, in percentage of your account set at 3%. Or if you're running a challenge, you can even put that at 4%. Because even if you did hit a stop loss, um, you would still not have lost your challenge. And we only hit the stop loss twice. And we haven't hit the stop loss once this year. So you'd be very safe at 3. Now... What we're waiting for is one of the divergent signals to come in. Um, but I'm, I'm going to see if I can show you a couple of other things. Because what you're going to do is you're, you're only going to trade in line with your higher time frames. So if you're trading on the one minute, then you're looking at the one minute, the five minute and the 15. And you want them all to say buy to go for a long trade or you want them all to say sell if you're going for a short trade okay clear enough yep yep now what i'm also going to show you is that within a day or two this is how good you're going to be i want you to see this i want you to see that price action and i want you to tell me what happened to the rsi 
تمبيرة دي ايرس اي از تمبيرة لور اوف ايرس ان بريفيوس هاي سو اتس جون بيرش يا 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 As soon as you saw that, because it's in a block, and you're also in an area of extremely overbought, because you have got the vision now, and you don't even mm -hmm. need the indicator to tell you where bearish divergence is, you literally, at that point, trigger sell. Once you trust yourself that you're reading these divergences correctly, you do not even need to wait for for these. You with me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the only thing that I'm, I will say though, Brecht, is I don't want mm -hmm. you to go against the higher time frames. Always trade in line with the one minute, the five minute, and the 15. And you'll trade very, very, very safely. Now, let me show you this one. Now, I'm trying to turn you into a very clever trader. Because if you can find trades on the blocks you know the 90% rule anyway nine times out of ten the bottom of that block is going to hold but what actually happened here on the RSI the RSI went bullish can you see underneath mm -hmm. so as soon as you saw that RSI going bullish and you've got a line going in completely the opposite direction because the RSI there is now bullish you're in a block, you literally trigger a buy. And as you can see, you get zero drawdown and you go straight to your target. Now, You can see there, twin peaks, you've got two overbought signals, and then you've got the RSI that's just crashed. Agreed? Yep. Yep. There's your cell. Now, tell me that you can see how easy this system is. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, pretty easy if, easy you, if you know where uh, it will work to look. You don't have to be able to find these divergences yourself because they are here. They're all being given to you until you hone mm -hmm. your eye. But what you're going to find is in a very short space of time, this is going to come like second nature to you. That one there, hidden divergence. You've got a market that's been coming down. And what that was telling you there, and you were right on a resistance block. It was telling you that that downward move is going to now continue. It literally told you when to pull the trigger. Mm. Straight to profit every time. Now, I, I want to just be very clear on these here. On the 1 minute, 5 minute and 15. If you're looking for a sell, Brecht, mm -hmm. you can't always have the three time frames saying exactly what you want which which ideally is sell 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 so all you need is you just need one of these three to be in agreement with what you want to do so if one of these three tell you it's a sell then it's safe for you to take a sell okay 
which is what you got there. You got the cell. Now, when you really start and trust yourself, and you see yourself here back into a support block at the bottom, you can see that you've got an overbought, oversold, which is telling you, you know what that means. The market is going to go up. The RSI goes up. And then as soon as you make this here, it doesn't go in. Well, that goes slightly low. Your divergence goes up. And you would have bought that there instantly. Up for your four pips. And that trade would have lasted about two minutes, three minutes. Mm. Now, are there any questions that you have? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Have you created the rules? So, have uh, you created the number one step? And created that you get an alert uh, for from the dive dive curtains. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna look. So. I do you uh, see uh, uh, the and the order block, um, and, and the the, you, you, want, you are going to look where at the trend. Yeah. If that's okay, uh, uh, then you're going to look at, at uh, the PC, the divergence, uh, either see if you see a uh, 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 regular or the to be either hidden the divergence. Yeah. And, and then, then you place a trade if all those here come, come together. Yeah, you can play it. You, in fact, you don't. You can forget the words hidden and regular. It's divergence. You take any of the mm. divergence as long as it's in line with the trends. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Keep it very, very simple for you. That's as simple as it needs to be. See that one there as it went up. You can see that that's a rising market. Yeah. You can see everything mm -hmm. down there Brecht was saying buy. I'll refresh it just to see what it's saying. Yeah, everything is still saying buy. So literally, as soon as you got that, you'd have bought it. Then your four pips, you would have got your four pips in about a minute. Okay. Yeah. Now, interestingly, this is this is the level I want you to get, because when you can see this, look at that in that block. You didn't get anything from your indicator, but look at that massive bearish divergence there. Can you see? Mm. Yep. Yep. You would have just sold that in a heartbeat, and again, you'd have got yep. your four pips in a minute one minute now how fast do you want to make money you can't make money much faster than that no no now here we've actually got a live one let's go and have a look new zealand dollar against the canadian dollar we've got this now mm -hmm. what, what it's given us here is it's giving us a cell because you can see you've got a red arrow sorry i've got the wrong indicator on there but you're probably still going to see the same um, so this is a sell coming down because you can see that the market's been coming down all, all the way. Yeah. 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 All the way. So literally, we can see that we've got a sell and we've got a sell. So what I do, auto trading is on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to trigger sell. Now, can you see that the order's been placed instantly? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now. He, he is an advanced tip. Version 2, Brecht, does not need the moving average to be in agreement. We don't need it. The only reason mm. that we're using Oracle now in version 2 is to manage the trade for us, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, why am I telling you that? I'm telling you that because when I triggered that cell, if the moving average wasn't going the right way, it wouldn't place the trade, would it? No. no. So what do we do if it doesn't place that trade instantly? Well, what you do is you hustle 
and I'm going to show you what you do. If the trade doesn't go on instantly, come across to your time frames and just go click them one at a time. And what will happen is the Oracle will be checking the moving averages on every single time frame. And I guarantee that on one of those time frames, the moving average would have been coming down. <clears throat> so that's how you hustle to get instantly into that trade. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into a managed cell and I've finished. I can literally go in the garden now and forget about that trade completely. Easy enough? All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Very, very easy. It's easy. Very easy. Now, if you've got no more in immediate questions, I'll start the installation for you. Do you want me to start now while you think of some questions? Yeah, I'm created and I would like to. Yeah. Is, are we installing it on your computer or VPS? No, I'm created and I would like it on the computer and VPS. On you, uh, yeah, have you got one? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, if you just send me the login to the VPS and then I'll do it in front of you here live. Uh, the login, yeah. Hang on. Hang on. address and then my password, password to, to get in yeah uh, oh this sorry let me let, let, let me open telegram so you can uh, drop it in oh, oh okay okay um, So the IP address is this, and the uh, password is this to get in. I'm going to close mine. Uh, right. Um, what's the uh, login name? Uh, trader or administrator? Uh, administrator. Capital A. Yeah. 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 yeah that's the capital A. What do you think of the system, Brecht? Uh, I actually, uh, you know, I didn't think it was so uh, so simple to manage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I thought I have to, to breed, I have to look more myself for, for um, I did the signals and uh, the, the alerts and stuff. No, it's all there, all there for you, Matt. Um, we we've yeah. got something wrong. It's saying that. Um, it's saying well it's if administrator is definitely right then it's the password <laughs> oh. Oh. it's the uh, data uh, without the uh, data and the exclamation mark so it's we don't we, don't, we don't want the ex exclamation mark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, thanks. Uh, right, good, 100K account, perfect. Right, so just let me get everything ready.
Right, now let's just uh, quickly check to make sure you've got all of the required uh, symbols. It looks as though you have. You've got all the majors. Sometimes we need to bring in a couple of the minors, yeah. And we don't trade the Singapore dollar. Okay, so we've got all of them in. Now all we need to do is bring in all of the charts. Have you got high temperatures over there, where you are? Uh, 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 today is a lower to 22 degrees. Oh, that's not too bad. But, but uh, no, uh, I read it the last week and was uh, 28 to 30 to 32 degrees. Yeah. So the tenor was uh, really high. Yeah, that's hot. <clears throat> a little bit too hot, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so we, we've got all of them in there. So the next thing that we do is just use that button there just to get them spaced. And now what we need is we need them all into alphabetical. So it just takes a few minutes to do this. Are you going to have time to test this out this afternoon? Yeah. Yeah. I have. Well. Well. Uh, I have. You don't know. To put it in the three weeks. The brain. I don't have to work. So. So, so I'm going to uh, to test it in the hours. Good. Brilliant. Right, uh, card Swiss, <coughs> yen, <coughs> excuse me, New Zealand, US, card Swiss, yen, Swiss, yen, euro, odd, card Swiss, pound, yen, New Zealand, US, pound, odd, card Swiss, yen, New Zealand, US, card, New Zealand, card, New Zealand, Swiss. New Zealand US USD card USD Swiss U New Zealand yen Right, that's that done. And the last thing that we need to do is put them onto a one minute, activate your system. Good.
Peter, Chris, uh, a quick uh, and a question. Uh, to trade in the time frame uh, to, 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 to trade to the best is it uh, and 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 uh, to trade in the morning and the evening or to trade in late at night? Um, well, if you if you had a choice, then I, I would have to say based on all of the feedback, and I've got over four well over 500 clients the the best time is early morning okay okay that's the best time and uh so so it is from uh, six o'clock till till eight nine ten uh, well yeah yeah perfect because your six o'clock is my five o'clock, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Perfect. Right, let's just have a look then. Make sure everything's working. You've got your blocks on there. You've got your blocks. I don't see any. Right, I don't see the divergence indicator there. One sec. And I also don't see the strong trend. So we've got the divergence in. Let's just check the settings of the divergence. Not that one. Regular and hidden. Fifteen breakout. Right, that's perfect. Um, right, so you don't have the strong trend. Good, you got that. Get funded stochastics. Um, you might see at the bottom, Brecht, you can't see the get funded stochastics. You can only see that little tail bit mm -hmm. there. Can you see? Yeah. yeah. It's, all, it's only yeah. because, uh, oh, well, you might have it on the one minute, one sec. Oh, it's working perfect. Sometimes you've got to wait for a few hours oh, for that nice. to start to work, but it's perfect. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. Right, okay, nice. that's excellent. Right, so the only thing that we need to do is check all your lot sizes. So change the template to trigger cell and let's have a look. I'll tell you what I'll do on this as well. Let's bring in let's bring in the get funded blocks. Good. Now you've got a hundred K account, so that one wants to be four, uh, sorry, one to four.
I wonder whether my keyboard's going. Can you just put one in there, Brecht, please? So uh, uh, hang on. Um, Oh no, 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 you can't. Sorry, you can't do it because oh. you're going to oh. cut me off, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you've cut me off. Um, uh. That's okay, I'll come back in. I just need your password again, one sec. How strange. It's not actually le letting me type anything. How strange. Um, just working out what to do here. Okay, I'm going to cancel out, out of that. I'm just going to save trigger cell purely because I've put the blocks on there for you. And I'm mm -hmm. also going to save it as trigger by. And see if it let me just change it from short to long. Let's see if it let me change your settings in here. No. Very strange. Trigger by. Manage by. Okay, so there's nothing we can do in there. Right, so so I'm gonna I'm gonna c come off your screen. Right, if you come back onto my screen for a second, please, I'll show you what needs doing. Yep. Yep. You're on my screen now, yeah. Yep. 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 Brilliant. Well, that that, um, that trade we put on closed out in pocket. That was good. Nice. Yeah, right, so in tri trigger cell, this is what I need you to do. Uh, yeah. oh, hold on, wait. Uh, trigger cell? Yeah. yeah. Um, just um, put on trigger cell and then go into properties, expert advisors properties. I want you to change. I want you to change fixed lot from 2.0 to 1.0. Uh, fixed lot 0 to 1.0. Yeah. I want you to change the max lot from 6.0 to 2.0. So, 4, sorry, 4. four. 6.0 to 4.0. Yeah. Yeah. And the last one, okay. you need to scroll down and find the field that says floating drawdown in percentage. Mm, floating. 
throw down in percentage. percentage. Yeah. And you need to put that at 3.0. Zero percent. Okay. Now, if you watch the screen, let me show you what you do after you've done that. Let's say you've edited it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You then need to say, okay, but you need to go back to the top and save it again. Save trigger cell. And, and overwrite it, yeah? Yep, yep. save the templates. Trigger cell. Over right. Yep. Yep. And then all you do then is do the same for the other three. So then you'll go to uh, trigger by, go into it, just change the same three settings, your two lot sizes mm -hmm. and your draw down. Say OK and then save the template. And, mm -hmm. and then okay. do exactly the same in your manage sell and manage buy and then you're finished. So, bye. Bye. Okay. okay. And that's it. You done, Brecht. I am a. I am a. I can do a. The two. The two. The two. We can get a. Where is it started? Yeah. Let me know, won't you? Let me know as soon as you get your first few few wins. Okay. Okay. And drop me a line in uh, Telegram. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, it's, yeah. it's been no. good to meet you, and I'll send you VIP details of the VIP group, and um, I'll either continue talking to you privately or in VIP. Uh, any help you need, and I'll send the video recording across to you in about forty minutes. Okay, Chris, uh, you have to thank you to create and have a very much of a hard explanation and I, I am looking forward to uh, to get a show you to create my results with you. I'm, I'm, I'm not concerned. I, I know you're going to do well. But anything you need, give, give me a shout, yeah? Okay, Chris. All right, fantastic. Have a good evening and I'll speak to you probably tomorrow. I think you as well. Thanks. Bye, Thanks again. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.